How to carry your camera on the bike. Bikepacking with a GoPro and a phone is very convenient, but you miss out on so many incredible moments. So I decided to start carrying my proper camera, but it comes with its own challenges. Today I'm gonna show you the best ways I found to carry your camera on the bike, starting with camera straps. We have skin grows back, an outer shell. I was using the camera strap from a skin grows back, but I decided to switch because uh, you can see here, the attachments are quite long and it goes to these hooks here. So you attach the ring that goes here to the hook and it's quite long. I find it too long. And also it has uh, too many unnecessary attachments, I will say, and it's quite heavy, maybe because of the padding over here. I mean, it's nice to have the padding, but I find it uh, maybe too much, not really necessary. And because of the, all the camera straps and attachments, I found that uh, it took me a while to figure out the way how to strap it at the beginning. So it has an stabilizer here that you can easily open with a feed lock system, allowing you to turn around the camera and take a shot. But you can see you have then these straps flapping around in the wind, so I, that's something I was not a fan of. And also, yes, it is more stable than the Canon camera strap, but it still moves around quite a bit. I find these straps too long. And on the bike, the strap keeps the camera in place, but the camera sits quite low and it tends to lean towards one side. Especially when you get out of the saddle, this is more noticeable. So I was looking for a better solution. So I decided to switch to the outer shell camera strap, which has a three point mounting system. You have the, the attachment with the tripod screw here to the camera body and also the other two attachments here on the side. It doesn't have any unnecessary straps. You just put it on, clip it here. This is the stabilizer with the feed lock system, a magnetic system, and then it's attached and to use the camera on the bike, then you can easily open it, flip it around, ready to shoot. It has enough reach to let you grab your camera comfortably while riding your bike and also because of this three point mounting system, it's really stable, it doesn't move at all. On the bike, the three point mounting system keeps the camera in place and you can easily adjust the straps to whatever degree you want and it's very stable in and out of the saddle. And it's also lighter than the previous strap. This one weighs 113 grams. I really like the fact that the attachment system is the same for the outer shell camera straps. So if you have other camera straps, like this one that goes on your wrist, you can use the same attachment to use the other camera straps but you can also switch the attachment. For example, this Peak Design attachment, they are quick release and it's made for heavy cameras. So I really like it. And the good thing is that you can easily switch it for whatever attachment you want. But this is something that you don't have with the other camera strap from a skin grows back. As you can see, this part is suiting, so you cannot change the attachment. This hook is really solid, but I like to have the flexibility to choose other attachments, especially quick release. So we have here the Canon strap that came with my camera. It's a simple camera strap and the attachment here is very simple. So I'm not sure how secure it is for a heavier camera. It doesn't have any stabilizer. Whoop! <laughs> the camera just dropped. Okay. <laughs> so when you put it on, it moves quite a lot, especially on the bike. I really had to tighten up the straps to keep it in place. And as you can see, it still moves quite a bit when you get out of the saddle. A trick that I learned is that if you have a food pouch, you can use it to carry your small camera, leave the strap that attaches to the wrist outside, and you can easily grab it, then ready to shoot. It's also really easy to keep the strap on your wrist and then just drop the camera into the foot pouch and keep riding. 
If it's raining, I like to carry my camera and my cycle light aerobar bag, which is waterproof, linked to the full review in the link above. And then I can also easily store it there at the end of the day when I'm not using it anymore, but still have it at hand. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. It really helps to support the channel. See you soon. <laughs>